this is uh, question 2 in static equilibrium and uh, here we see that there is a, a beam supported by a cable so that's the cable there at one end and simply force of friction at this end And you have uh, the weight of the beam acting right through its center. In addition to that, you have two times the weight of the beam at a distance x. And you also have the tension in the cable. So let's look at all the forces that act. Okay. The tension is T. The tension in the cable T can be resolved into T sine theta and T cos theta. And this T cos theta is exactly equal and opposite to the normal reaction. And this is the friction. W is the weight of the beam acting down through its center and you have 2 times W acting at a distance X from the beam. Now those are the forces. So T can be resolved into T sine theta and T cos theta. Normal reaction is N, friction is F, you have the weight and twice the weight. Now we know that friction is mu s times n but n is equal to t cos theta because because you see that n and t cos theta are equal and opposite so n is equal to t cos theta therefore when you multiply 0.5 with cos 30 uh, you get 0.433 t now there are two conditions in static equilibrium. The first one, the net force uh, along the y-axis in this case must be zero. So the total upward forces must be equal to the total downward forces. And uh, you have two upward forces. One is friction. The other is T sine theta. Two downward forces, W here and 2W. So, if the net force along the y-axis is zero, you're going to say 2w plus w is equal to f plus t sine 30, or t sine theta. But we already know that f is 0.433t plus t sine 30 degrees sine 30 degrees is 0.5 so on the right side when you add 0.433 t plus 0.5 t add these two we're going to get 0.933 t so that means the tension is 3.21 W. How? 3 divided by 0.933. So we got that equation from the first condition. Now, in the second case, we know that when you take the torque about any point, and we're going to get, take the torque, calculate the torque about this point, uh, there will be two clockwise, one of them would be this and the second one is this so there are two clockwise torques and there is just one counterclockwise which is this T sine theta remember that these two forces F and N will not create any torque at that point because there's no distance okay so, taking the torques about the 
the point, you get W times 2.25 plus 2W times X, which we're trying to find, should be equal to T sine 30, which is 0.5T times 4.50. Okay. W is right at the center. That's why this distance is half of 4.5, which is 2.25. That's why we multiplied that with 2.25. And uh, 2W is at a distance x. So that's why we multiply 2W with x. And 0.5t, which is t sine 30, is at a distance of the length of the beam, which is 4.50. So that's why we get the counterclockwise that way. So on the right side you have 2.25 T but T can be substituted as 3.21 W and uh, multiply, multiplying those two numbers gives you 7.23 on the left side now we can take this to the other side and subtract gives 4.98 the W's can be cancelled from both sides and you get X is equal to 4.98 divided by 2 which is 2.49 meter well this again is a very important question and make sure you understand how this is done